Never in our lifetime has there been a more collective focus on health or more awareness of the power of information. COVID-19 has accelerated the uptake of digital health globally, putting a spotlight on more rapid information flow and the need for new models of care. In the past, we've seen multiple categories of companies, each owning a different aspect of the patient journey, which led to fragmentation, poor context sharing between providers, and higher costs due to redundant processes. Now, we will see the value chain of healthcare be entirely rewired, with a new generation of providers looking to own the end-to-end -end patient journey. We all know that the pandemic really accelerated the demand for home healthcare. But what we're also seeing drive digital health is also the increase in lifestyle associated diseases that require consistent monitoring and the need for personalized patient care. There are over 350,000 digital health apps currently available to consumers, many of which are geared towards wellness with a particular focus in digital therapeutic apps. Additionally, we're also seeing a lot of collaboration happening in this space. I mean, just in the US alone, digital health startups received $29 billion in funding in 2021, nearly double of what it was in 2020. We're seeing tech players lend their tech savviness as partners by healthcare players who are forced to fast track their digital transformation efforts. Even earlier this year, players like Medtronic partnered with Apple's partner Rockley Photonics to build health monitoring wearables. A new strategy followed by the tech giants is buying brands well known in narrower categories. For example, Amazon is targeting brick and mortar primary care by recently partnering with primary care provider One Medical. While we have Microsoft that's aiming to be always present in the doctor's office, and we have Oracle focusing on the medical record industry with its CERN acquisition. But while all eyes have been on big tech, Big retail is also fighting for a slice of the healthcare market. Retailers such as AT&T, Best Buy, Comcast and Walmart are all finding unique ways to turn their best-selling assets into healthcare tools. We also have other non-healthcare companies like Lyft and Uber who are also intensifying their focus on health tech. For example, Uber has been teaming up with digital health startups to simplify medication delivery and reduce transportation barriers to healthcare. We're very specifically observing a surge in interest in specific areas of medical wearables. Number one, digital therapeutics. These wearables provide evidence-based therapeutic interventions to patients to prevent, manage, or treat a medical disorder or disease. An example of this would be ResMed CPAP masks. They not only serve the purpose of correcting blood oxygen levels throughout the patient's sleep, but can also track and share clinical insights with health professionals. Number two, diagnostic wearables. These enable users to obtain real-time data, therefore allowing them to track their health status. They play a crucial role in the early diagnosis of chronic diseases. So naturally, this has become very useful for pharmaceutical and medical device companies to optimize their clinical trials and improve efficacy of treatments. Number three, recovery wearables. They promote functional recovery in patients to help them regain independence. An example of this is BPM pathway, which is used as a form of self-managed rehabilitation after knee replacement surgery via remote patient monitoring. Let's now look at the patient engagement side of things. Omnichannel healthcare is a fundamental part of healthcare digitization, as care delivery services that traditionally have been centralized in monolithic facilities move to retail, community-based and virtual settings. Secondly, there's now increased traction in platform-enabled ecosystems in healthcare and life science organizations. Thirdly, the shift from fee-for-service towards value or outcome-based care and payments. And finally, a push towards greater interoperability of data and transactional systems. In our perspective, we're seeing medical wearables play a huge role in the future as care delivery evolves to become more patient-centric and driven by data and analytics. Now that we have more data in our hands than ever before, this accessibility factor will keep on increasing, simply because the democratization of data has led to better solution and in turn has resulted in more satisfied patients and healthcare practitioners.